It's been a while since I was flying the Revelation. I did take a small break from the ship, especially after the implants were released. Now, I have received a new skin for this ship. This is the sleeper skin for the Revelation. And I think it's quite hilarious that I did receive the skin for this ship because it is a well-documented fact that I have fallen asleep on the gate with this ship many times. Undocking. And, well, uh, it still happens. Basically, each time I go camp with the Revelation, I fall asleep for roughly 30 minutes to one hour, maybe. Maybe even more, sometimes I spent the whole night at the gate. Now here, you can take a look at the, at the ship. Honestly, it is a very good looking skin. It has a very nice color and the reflections are also really nice. You can basically see the reflection of the station and of the space surrounding the ship on the hull. I think that's a very nice little detail. It kind of looks like a nanocore, but this is not a nanocore, it's only only a skin, and I believe that this might be one of the best skins that we have received so far. I did get this skin for only 120 plaques, by the way. I was very lucky at obtaining it. It's the sleeper skin for this ship. Now the that window is glitching out a little bit, so I'm not going to be. On, Docking request accepted. on the skin window for a very long time. So, uh, I will show you some of the implants that you can use on the Revelation, mostly talking about the laser implants. We have two of them, Pulse Crystal and Focused Crystal. I will start with the Pulse Crystal. Now, both of them are uh, really really nice and I've heard that they are pretty good for PvE as well as pretty good for PvP. Every time the laser salvo hits land on the target, the ship will obtain 2 levels of focused crystal effect up to 50 levels, maximum 50. All focused crystal effects will be lost if it fails to hit the target. Activating skills will consume all its effect and gain temporary shield equal to damage boost effect plus 50% maximum shield HP. Focused Crystal increases laser damage by 2%. Salvo hit requires all turrets to fire and land on the target for full effect. Well, here you can take a look at the basic info stats. On paper it looks interesting. Uh, definitely a interesting implant, but as with any other implant, the overall effect is really ridiculous and as with the other implants, it is very overpowered. Now, on level 15 you will can get one of these two secondary stats. I did pick the support repair, which improves the shield conversion ratio to 75%. The general units are focused on DPS and armor repair. Basically, I did try to make this usable on armor tank ships like the Abaddon, Apocalypse Striker, and in this case the um, Revelation as well. At 30 you also uh, get more secondary skills. Sorry for the uh, weird cut, I lost my voice for a second. For the secondaries I picked the second one and the final one at level 45, Crystal Stimulation. Upon skill activation immediately obtains 30 levels of focused crystal. Basically it does recharge the implant. Okay, let's take a look at the Pulse Crystal. Upon skill activation, laser capacitor consumption increases by 150%, while laser damage increases by 75% times current capacitor capacity, total capacitor capacity, maximum 75%. Reactivation delay 10 seconds, additional capacitor need 150%, additional boost money for 75%, which is uh, really good. And again, I would say, uh, really high. The general units are also focused on maximum possible DPS. At level 15 you get smart battery and you can get reabsorption which are both nice but I did pick the first one. Capacitor efficiency general unit 
Then we have Armory Repair Efficiency General Unit. Basically very similar to the previous combination. Shield Neutralizer will give you plus 10% laser damage and high power, additional capacity with modify 100%, I did pick extra damage. Armor Repair Output Boost and we have Tracking Computer Tracking Correction. And the final is the Reverse Power which will actually remove your own shield and it will convert that into capacitor which is actually very uh, very interesting very unique implant okay now i will actually start with the pulse crystal let me activate it the dps on this servation is 1200.85 which is you know cold dps in the station the main dps will be uh, when the ship enters siege mode this is going to be an example on the tank build revelation. Later on I will show you the same implants on the DPS build revelation. And just to see what's the maximum possible uh, DPS output on this ship. Okay, I have rearranged the module layout. And now let me lock on the, on the station. Now. At first I thought that the implant requires you to actually do damage to the target, so I thought that it might not work uh, if I go and shoot the station. 10,000 is the cold DPS in the siege mode. Now let's, let's activate the reverse power and just look at what this does to my shield. Now the reverse power will not work if you have no shield so if you are in a combat situation and if you click on the implant I think it will not work because it requires you to have shield and without shield you will not be able to recover the capacitor it's basically very similar to the capacitor booster now the DPS is 70,000 okay that's the active uh, DPS when the implant is engaged which for a tank revelation is, act is actually not that bad now let's take a look at the uh, DPS again 17,000 okay the tank 2.2 million 408,000 armor that's a lot of armor now I did expect a lot more DPS, so uh, there's a chance that it does not work if you go and shoot the station, because there's a chance that it requires you to actually do damage in order for the implant to work. Now I have disabled the implant and the DPS is now 10,000, so it definitely does give you the 75% extra damage boost when you activate the implant. I did honestly expect around 25,000, maybe even 30,000, but I guess 17,000 with the current setup on this implant, which is still, I think, okay. Definitely not as overpowered as the barrage implant, or not as broken as the uh, railgun implant, but it's still pretty strong. You can easily get that Docking type of DPS accepted. with the Apocalypse Striker. Now let's go with the focused crystal and now the DPS should be changed a little bit. Now let's take a look. Well, the DPS actually got reduced. That's interesting. 1091.68 DPS. Well then, uh, let's open fire at the station and let's see what's the maximum DPS going to be. Now, this should recharge the implant bar 2% with every hit. And this is also the moment where I actually start to think that I actually need to uh, do damage for the implant to work. So uh, I will try out to see what it will do. Now when you click on the, um, on the main attribute, you actually get extra armor. And I did get around 50% uh, extra armor this works like a extra armor plate which is uh, I think a little bit ridiculous a little bit silly 
now let me go into the siege mode and I will keep on shooting the station just to check out the DPS 9.1 thousand DPS hmm okay that's that's interesting let me double check the stats of the implant just checking if I'm not doing something wrong so the hits need to land on the target now it doesn't specify if I have to do damage I assume that it has to do damage so if I do zero damage it might count that as missing the target oh four percent four percent which means that uh, the implant is actually recharging okay now it works now it actually works okay and it started to raise the DPS 9.9 thousand 12 percent with every percent the DPS will be increased by a little bit now it's 10,000 10,637.32 90,000 alpha damage on the EM 8.69 seconds activation time okay everything seems to be looking normal it is still going up 11,000 DPS the DPS is also uh, going up 120% the DPS is at 20,000 which is not bad at all I can activate this and it will recover energy now it's at 188% 26,000 DPS I think the maximum will be around 27,000 maybe 28,000 DPS the maximum is 200% 27,000 DPS, okay. And 200% maximum possible DPS output is 27,510.31. And when you need armor, you just click on that, and I got, well, uh, I think I have around 1.5 million armor currently. And basically, it can replace the whole armor for a couple of seconds. This is very silly. I have to admit, this is really silly and a little bit weird. So basically, an implant that increases DPS drastically, and of course, a implant that will significantly increase accepted. your armor. Well, uh, armor plates are now obsolete. Yes. Okay. Uh, joke aside, let's equip heat sinks. I have five heat sinks or not. Hold a second, what the hell is this? A magnetic field stabilizer. Okay. That's um that's a little bit cursed, so let me quickly change that. Okay, now it's better. Now I have five heat sinks, which should translate into a lot of DPS. Now the Naglifar can reach 177,000 DPS. I really hope that this ship can reach something close to that DPS. I will go with the Pulse Crystal first and then I will go with the with the Focused Crystal. Time to check out the DPS. 1.8 thousand, almost 1.9, okay. Let's, let, let's shoot the station again. Going into Siege Mode and now Let's take a look at the cold DPS with the current setup. Almost 16,000 DPS, not bad. Pretty ridiculous. Reverse power will, will, will use my shield to replenish the capacitor. And now let's click on the, on the implant, 27,000 DPS. Okay. Everything seems to be everything seems to be in optimal order. Let's go with one heatsink first. The DPS is thirty-four thousand. Okay. With the second heatsink, the DPS is forty thousand. With the third one, the DPS is forty-five thousand. With the fourth one, the DPS is 47,000. Mm. 
And with the last one, 48,000. Well, you know what's actually hilarious? The Macario beats this ship in DPS with the Barrage Implant. A Macario has higher DPS than a Revelation. Some interesting time for the game, for sure. 4.2 seconds activation time, okay, well that's um, very interesting. 47,000, 48,000 DPS. With the Macario I did hit 55,000 with a very interesting setup. So now it will be time to try out the DPS with the, with the other implant. Have to wait for the siege to go down in order to dock. Okay, let's dock and let's swap implants. And then we will see how Docking much DPS request I accepted. can get with the other one. Swapping to focused crystal. And I really hope that the developers are watching this because they have to realize how busted and insane the, the, the implant system actually is. Now the DPS is 1.6 thousand. And let's undock to check out what I can do with, uh, with this setup on the... On the other implant, 16,000 is the DPS. The DPS will slowly increase as the bar gets filled up to 200%. 2% every, every time I open fire at the station at 200%. 43,000 cold DPS, by the way. 43,000 cold DPS with one heatsink. It's 53,000 with the second heatsink. It's 63,000 with the third heatsink. 71,000 with the fourth heatsink. 74,000 and with the last one, it's 76,214.04 DPS. The Naglifar is dwarfing this DPS. The Naglifer has 177,000 DPS with this current exact same setup using the Barrage Implant. So, is this okay? Absolutely not. Uh, is this balanced? Nope. I have to be on some really interesting stuff in order to believe that this is balanced. And this is not balanced. This is broken beyond space and time. So, uh, I really hope that the... The little test Docking makes its way accepted. to the developers because they have to see what abominations they have created with the implant system. Well then, time to go back to my own revelation and let's go out and let's uh, blow up some ships. Okay, now the first target for today is one Macario. They have just jumped through the gate, and we have a nice walking party for this ship. There is the Macario, uh, they are trying to burn back to the gate, but I believe that's not going to happen today. First hit, 42,000. That Macario had a lot of, a lot of shield. Okay, let's go after the second hit. 27,000 damage, Macario is now into low armor. I think the third hit should destroy the ship. And the Macario has been destroyed. That was a nice first target for today. Alright, well let's take a look at the, at the kill. Well, this Macario did not have a build for some reason, not really sure why. Not really sure what a Macario without any modules is doing in no space, but it happens. It happens a lot lately. Next target, we have one Ortus. Okay. Locking on, the Ortus has been target painted. They have been webbed and the Ortus has been deleted. A second very nice kill today. Always nice to shoot down an Ortus. Let's take a look at the kill. 
3.7 billion, not bad. Ortus with normal medium missiles. Full DPS, a PvP built Ortus for low sec. This is basically the Ortus that I mostly use, although lately I have been using the torpedo launchers on the Ortus because it works. Next target we have one Raven Striker. Let's lock on. The Raven is shooting at the bubble pilot. That's interesting. First hit, 26,000. The Raven is now in 50% shield, a little bit below 50%. Raven is in armor. Now the Raven is in the hole. And the Raven has been destroyed. Well, we have some very nice targets today. First a Macario, then a Nortus, and now a Raven Striker. 2.2 billion uh, rapid missiles, shield tank, a PvP build, okay. A tanky PvP build, but a Raven will not tank. A revelation. Or a barrage Macarial, depends which one you encounter first. Both have the same DPS at the moment. Okay, next target we have. We have one Typhoon too that is uh, going to appear any moment. There is the Typhoon too. The Typhoon is trying to burn out of the bubble, but that's not going to work. Okay, I barely hit the target there because they are moving, but now they have been webbed. Well, 48,000, that was a massive hit. And the Typhoon 2 has been destroyed. Okay, let's take a look at the kill. 2 billion, almost 2.1 billion. Typhoon with a shield tank, rapid missiles, and okay, they're, they're built for missions. Next target, we have one Malstorm. The Malstorm has been webbed. First hit, 3000 only, I forgot to enter siege mode, that was my bad. Second hit, 19,000. This Malstorm has some pretty good shield resistances. The 20,000, the Malstorm has lost shield. The 27,000, definitely a lot more, a lot more natural to fly this ship with a tank build. Usually on the Revelation I did run heat sinks and tracking computers to maximize the DPS, but lately I have been using the tank build a lot. It works. And the last hit did destroy the Maelstrom. That was a very nice catch. Not that often that you see a Maelstrom flying around here. But it's always very nice to shoot one down. 2.3 billion. Very nice. And this does look like a PvP Maelstrom. They did not have any shield boosters, only adaptives, and of course a damage control. Next target we have an Ortus with a tungsten nano core that looks exactly like my Ortus. And they have engaged the carrier. And they are fighting with the carrier. Although unfortunately I'm not going to be able to hit this ship moving with the micro drive.
Now, this was one very, very expensive order to 8.8 billion. Okay. Yikes. That was a, that was a very expensive one. I will show you the kill on the screen. Yep, that was a very expensive one. Definitely. Not every day that you catch a ship like that. That's the second Ortus for today. Next target we have one Talos 2 that has a very interesting nanocore. Not really sure what nanocore this is, but looks very familiar. It might be the golden age nanocore, not really sure. I guess we will find out very soon. Okay, the Talos has been destroyed. Let's take a look at the kill. 700 million. This was definitely a expensive Talos. Definitely expensive. Golden Age Nanocore. Okay, so I was... I was correct. It was a Golden Age Nanocore. Next target we have one Drake. We're waiting for the Drake to be webbed in order for me to actually apply any damage to it. First hit. Almost shot down the Drake. And but the second one will... Okay, let me... Oh, we have one Bellicose Interdictor. Let's quickly engage the Interdictor next. I think the Interdictor was actually chasing the, the Drake round. But they have landed in our own bubble. They had the damage control. And they survived the first hit. They're using dual shield boosters, but that's not going to work against Dreadnought Alpha damage. And the Bellicose 2 has been destroyed. Nice. Okay, let me take a look at the Drake kill. 533 million, not bad. This Drake had a lot of stabs. 13 stabs on the Drake, maybe even more. And this is the interdictor kill, 158 million. Next target we have one Prophecy and we have one Merlin Assault. The Prophecy has been deleted, now let's try and shoot down this Assault Frigate, but I think the Assault Frigate actually, actually managed to burn out of the bubble. So we have missed that one ship. Next target we have one battleship Megatron. First hit 18,000 damage. This is a shield tank Megatron. Or an armor tank, not really sure what it is. And the battleship has been destroyed. One interceptor. Let me let me see if I can if I can lock on time. I guess not. Next target we have one prophecy. The prophecy has been destroyed. Now 
I will always show the the, the kill after the ship is destroyed. Sometimes I forget for some reason. 277 million, not bad. Triple armor repair prophecy. Well, I haven't seen that in a very long time. Next target, that was an oracle too. The oracle has been destroyed pretty quickly. Let's take a look at the kill, 599 million, not bad. Next target, we have another prophecy, let's see if I can shoot before the prophecy burns to the gate, well that was quick. One hit is all I usually need to to shoot down a prophecy. Sometimes they survive if they're tanky. Next target we have one logistic cruiser. Well, we had one, not anymore. The revelation did hit somehow. This ship was built for logistic purposes. Usually, usually these ships can be used for PvP as well. Next target, we have one cyclone. Waiting for webs or not. Well, I have missed the first hit. But the second hit did, did connect with the ship. 291 million is cyclone. They, they had a cursed build, okay. They had a cursed build and they used storyline missile launchers. They are quite expensive. 24 million for one of these missile launchers. Next target we have one Daredevil. Chance is that I'm not going to hit this target. The Daredevil is already into a low hole and they have been destroyed. Well, the Apocalypse Striker sure can hit the target and lock the target on time. 322 million, not bad. Pretty solid. Next target we have one Raven. And the Raven has been destroyed. The carrier drone bombs sure do a lot of damage to battleships. Okay, 523 million. Unfortunately, we did not get any of those rapid missile launchers, but that's okay. Next target, we have one Dominic's. And we have one Succubus, let's lock both of them. The Dominix will be the primary target. The Dominix has been destroyed. Let's try and uh, hit the Succubus. Although I think that the Succubus is already too far away. And the Succubus is, is in warp. Okay, that's okay. We still did hit the more valuable target, which was Dominix. Well, that's a very weird build. A medium shield booster on a battleship. Well, not really sure where, where they saw that build, but that's not how you build a Dominix. Next target, we have one... Well, we had a Drake. I was quick. Let's take a look at the kill. 513 million. 
Not bad. They had a Predator Warp Disruptor. A PvP Drake that's missing one medium slot. Well, I have seen a lot of weird builds. That Drake is just one of them. This is a very good looking Caracal, unfortunately we have to destroy it. There goes the Caracal. I have to admit, that was a very good looking ship. 100 million, unfortunately the fit does not look that good, it's pretty cursed. With a shield booster and an armor repairer. Not really sure why players still fit their ship that way. It's very cursed if you if you have dual dual tanks on your ship and it's not good for performance as well. Next target we have another succubus. Waiting for the locking system to finish locking and then I can open fire. And the succubus has been destroyed. Okay, that was that was nice. Well this was definitely a very juicy succubus. And a very cursed one as well. This Succubus had cannon collision rigs installed on the ship. Not really sure why, but uh, okay. A Succubus with cannon rigs. Now I have seen it. Now I have seen everything. Next target, another faction frigate, a uh, Dramil. Probably will not finish locking before this ship goes down, but let's see what happens. The Dramil is locked and, well, they are already in the hole and they are already destroyed. That was very nice. 339 million. Overall a solid Dramil target. Prophecy Command, next target, although this Prophecy looks like a classic prophecy they did use the the default the default skin and the command prophecy has been deleted in one single hit from the from the dreadnought let's take a look at the kill 504 wait wait a moment the dual seat what the hell is this build why why dual micro warp drives? And no capacitor battery. The capacitor on this ship is pretty bad. Okay, I I don't know. I have no no words. Uh, yeah, those are definitely two medium micro warp drives, and a shield adaptive hardener on a armor tank ship. Yeah, uh, definitely very cursed as well. So that was the that was a nice little run with the revelation. Very refreshing to actually fly the ship again. And with that being said, hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.